Hi. I'm looking at a broken lens on the camera, but it seems to be working all right anyway. Um, I thought I would do a little video of just doing a drawing of, of some herb Robert I can see over there. Just to try and show you. See those little pink flowers? I wanted to just um, include you in the play. I suppose I could do it. Sitting here in the jug. <clears throat> I was reminded of um, just the small things, you know, the the little observations that we make in our day and the simplicity of that and the kind of sustaining quality of it, really. In the midst of all the big intentions and goals and plans and everything, sometimes just settling and drawing. Settling and drawing a couple of minutes while observing something beautiful and like the flowers and greenery at the moment everywhere I find are so very beautiful especially today now with the sunlight falling on them here I've just had my coffee in the garden at the Pennycook Art Centre Cafe it's where Lily works and she's made lovely cheese scones this morning so that's what I've just eaten Still got a piece left. We'd have to get a second coffee. Um, sorry, now it'll be a kind of a wobbly video. I'm only just back from the um, schoolhouse for art in Dublin, well, Wicklow. Um, I went over with the intention of, of carrying on to Birmingham after. And uh, what happened was that the Tony Robbins. Um, weekend I was going to go to with my sister ended up not working out for one reason or another. We didn't get the tickets until very late and by then we had kind of committed to not going and you know to be honest with you I'm kind of glad in a way because it feels to me like um, the medicine I'm needing oh here's Lily what happened to your camera? I know I broke it, I had a stone in my pocket and it broke into it. Are you giving me that now? No, Lily Um. Sorry, no. What was I saying there? This it seems that um, it's no harm for me at the moment because, you know, it was one of those. It felt as though there was a lot on already, one thing after another, and as I often say, all good stuff. Like, but um, I think the medicine that I was needing was to just slow down a little bit, and be quiet, preferably somewhere green and uh, with sunlight. I didn't know this now, but it wasn't until things didn't work out really to go and I came back here and I've just had a walk in, uh, if you're ever in Pennycook area, the John Clark estate walk down by the water. There's a well, a couple of wells, and then there's this river and the walk by the river with the, um, lots of little entries into it. You can, you can have a, a little paddle every so often, you know. <coughs> There's lots of little paths that take you directly down to the river and it's shallow mostly um and so I, I went along there this morning and I kind of gradually came home to myself you know I was a bit discombobulated I think is the word and uh, gradually I settled in a little bit and started to kind of realize how I am because even yesterday you know, sometimes when you come back from a trip, it's, it takes a little while to integrate. And, oh, you have another break. Here's Lily. Now, what are you eating, Lily? Can you Tiffin and sell it? Half a glass of milk. Tiffin and half a glass of milk. You're making that look good. So is this your official break now? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get an official break. Okay, so you're taking an unofficial one. I was just saying how I was glad of that walk this morning. I parked the car at the other side of the John Clark estate. It was about like a, maybe even an hour long walk really. And I had a seat and I had a paddle and a little dog ran away with one of my sandals. And I had to shout into the woods and say, excuse me, is your dog got my sandal? And they said, oh yeah, I'm just coming down. But actually it was um, a bit torn, I'll show you. 
And I only, I know they look really old, but I only bought them two weeks ago. In fact, these are the very same ones that I got lo that got lost when I went up to Glen Bucket. I left them on the way up by the side of a river, mm. and I ended up um, ended up on the way back down. They weren't there, so I had to buy. I just bought a new pair because I loved them so much. Anyway, they're okay. I've got a little mark in them. It's not Maisie's mark. All right, so um, settling and doing a little bit bit of drawing there. I mean, there's ferns and things coming up here, but I think I want the flowers to be the things that are extending um, up the way mostly. I feel like I've got a little bit of a bug for it now and I might do a second one. So, um, that's what happened there. And let's see if I can show you where it was. I mean, they're very small, like, but in the distance, you can, you can find things of beauty, can't you? Um, so that's it. So maybe today, see if you can settle yourself down just for a five minute drawing and um, and find something that makes you smile in some way or that's, that's beautiful. Um, I was thinking we could touch up the mural there maybe. And there's a little, another little table. So this is in Pennycook, the Gallery Cafe. We've got the uh, Jan Miller's lovely stained glass. I assume it's Jan's. Some hanging off the tree as well. Okay, so thanks for your company. And I'll see you for another one maybe tomorrow. All the best.